Well, everyone, you may have just went ahead and picked up a Samsung Galaxy Fit 3, and you might be trying to figure out exactly how to use this particular Fit watch band thing. Now, this is a really good choice. I think these are really awesome, and I'll show you exactly how to use it. Starting off, on the front side, you have your display. So it's a pretty basic display. You can usually turn it on by clicking on it, or you can click on the button to turn it on, or you can look away and then look at it again, and it will automatically turn on. So if you just look at it and look at it away, then it'll turn on or off. You can also click on the side button to turn it on. Now on the left side, there's not really anything on this band. It's pretty basic. On the right side, this is where you get a little tiny like microphone and you also get your side button. The side button allows you to power on and off your watch to turn on the display. And it's a pretty cool type of band. It's a you know, button, just a single button on the side. Now, if you click and look on the back side, this is your charging area. So this is where you can go ahead and charge up your particular you know, Galaxy Watch Fit 3. So if you have the charger in the box, which looks like this, you just have to go and click on one side here, and then you have to plug in the other side to a USB Type-C cable. But that's that. This is the charger. You can just plug it in as you normally would. You have your bands here too. So you can go through and just look, take a look at your bands. You can you know, turn, you can change them out if you want to as well, which you know, if you want to, you can do it. You can also go through and replace your bands if you want to by clicking on these buttons, and they will also allow you to pop these bands out and basically you know, change them out if you want to. You have a heart rate sensor back here as well, so this will allow you to change your or check your heart rate. But that's kind of that. Now, turning this thing back on, you'll see you're coming to your main display. Now, this main display is pretty basic, nothing crazy. So on the front side of your display, you will have your, you know, your watch face basically. So you will see your steps, your heart rate, and your battery life. At the top, there will be a little indicator whether your phone is connected or not. If you swipe down from the top, you'll get into your quick toggles. So these toggles will basically allow you to kind of just change things within your particular device very quickly. You can power on and off your particular watch this way, your bedtime sleep schedule, you can turn on do not disturb mode, you can jump right into settings, you can get into your sound option here as well. You can also switch to the other page and you can turn on your flashlight, airplane mode, water, you know, to, you know, move water out of your device, and you have your brightness toggle right there as well. So you have a few different options here you can kind of maneuver around with. Now coming back up, if you want to, you can also swipe up this way and you will see all the applications that you have inside of your device this way as well. So you can kind of go through and see all the different types of applications that you currently have inside of your watch. You can also hop inside of your settings application this way as well, which we'll talk about in a second. Now, swiping back up, you can come back into this page. Now, if you go ahead and swipe between these pages, you will see that there might be a few different pages for the most part that your particular device can kind of get into. So you can see right here, there's a lot of different pages that you can swipe through. You can also add tiles as well. So that's something that's really cool. You can just go through and kind of get, you know, jump into these like quick little tiles here. And that allows you to kind of see exactly what's going on with your particular watch. If you swipe to the side, you will see the notifications that you currently have. So if you're getting texts or calls or anything like that, those particular notifications will come into this page, which again is another really nice thing to have. Swiping back out of here, you'll come back into your home page. Now if you hold down this particular page like this, you can see that you can go through and kind of basically edit up this page, but you will you can scroll through here and see a few different pages that you can kind of, you know, kind of jump into. So there's a lot of different pages that you can kind of choose if you want to, which is really cool. So you can find the one that works best for you. In this case, if I really like this one, I can just go ahead and choose this watch face, and this one could be the best one for me. So it really depends on which way you want to go to. But you have a lot of customizing that you can do here, which is really cool, because this thing gives you a lot of capability when it comes down to there. Now, scrolling back all the way down, We'll jump right into settings. So the settings app gives us a lot of information we can choose from as well. So for starters, you have your modes up here, you have your notifications, you have vibration, display, health, security and privacy, safety and emergency, advanced features, general tips and tutorials, and about your band. Under your general option, this is where you can go ahead and change your orientation and you can reset your watch if you want to. To swipe back, you can just swipe from the side. You also have advanced features. So if we tap on advanced features, we have disconnection alerts. So if it ever disconnects from our device, it can alert us. You have your water lock. 
So it can go ahead and lock your device if it you know, determines if there's water in it or anything like that. You have that option too, so it doesn't start messing with the display. You can double press the home button if you wanna change it to give to a certain thing. You can get access to the most recent application. You can change it to open up a certain app. I know some people who use these types of buttons to you know, invoke maybe their music app or something like that. So you have that type of capability. You can even open up the calculator app too. Swiping back out. And then you have like status indicators too. If you ever want to go back home, you can just click on the side button here and it will basically take you back home. Now, this band is just one part of this particular experience. The other side is basically going to be the phone in which you connected it to. So majority of people out there, you're probably going to be using a Samsung phone for the most part, or you might be using a different type of Android device. But if you've already connected it, which you have probably have had to if you were already watching this, you connect it via the Samsung wearable application. So if you already have the wearable application, which you should already have it, open it up and you should be able to see your, you know, your, your Samsung Galaxy Fit right there. So now all you're going to have to do is you can go and see your information at the very top and you will see your watch right here. It'll show you your battery percent and it can also show you a lot of stuff that you can go through and kind of tinker around with here. So there's a lot of such stuff that you can kind of move around with here and kind of mess around with. So for starters, you can go through and you can change your watch faces. So you can tap right into here and you can choose different watch faces that you want. So there's a lot of different ones to choose from. So you can scroll through here and find the particular watch face that works best for you. You can click back. You have your app screen so you can change how your screen, like your applications are looking. You can change the ones that you have here. I don't think you can download any more applications here, but you can still kind of see them here and kind of mess around with them here as well. Clicking on the back button, you have your tiles. So we can click on our tiles portion right here. And we can come right in back into this panel. So this tiles portion will basically just show us all this other information here. We can change how our tiles look. We can add a new tile at the end. So these are the ones that when we swipe through, this is what basically should, you know, it was showing us. So once again, we we'll swipe through and kind of choose the different ones that we want and we can add new ones if we want to. Clicking back out, you also have some other few things like with your quick panel. So your quick panel is the one that you swipe down with. You can go ahead and customize these ones as well. You can delete ones if you don't like them. And if you do like them, you can you know, keep them there or you can delete them. It totally depends on what you want to do and what you're kind of looking at. But you do kind of have that option there as well. So you can kind of maneuver around that and kind of mess around with those when it comes down to it as well. So for the most part, it's a pretty basic type of application here too. There's not anything super crazy. And if your band ever gets lost, you can go through and find your band. You can even go into band settings and change even more settings within it, which is really cool. So this is another really cool application. Again, it is the core app you're going to be using for your fit. But for the most part, that's basically how you use your Samsung Galaxy Fit. Like I said, it's a very, very cool particular watch. It gives you a lot of information, a lot of capability within it. And if you're in the market, I think these are really good options. I would just recommend keeping it in good condition. Don't be dipping it around water too much. Hopefully you don't break it or anything like that. But you know, these are very solid options when it comes down to it. And hopefully you found this you know, tutorial helpful. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, know me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.